Are you looking to implement more security measures with your emails and your files? Well, Sealit has your back. This is a zero trust technology system. What does that mean? That they don't even have access to those files or emails that you are encrypting. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is Seal It. And if you guys want to grab a deal that's going on right now, I will leave a link in the description. Now, one of the most important features about Seal It is obviously the zero trust, where they don't even have access to the files or things that you encrypt. And another feature that they have is that it's passwordless. What does that mean? It's tied to your application on your phone, where if someone tries to access your files or the encrypted files, you allow them or don't allow them via phone or via a security key that you're going to create, but it's passwordless. So let me show you how Sealit actually works. This is my main dashboard and it's actually super easy to get started. You can install Sealit on Gmail, Outlook, or on your desktop and on your mobile phones. So everything is seamlessly working together. Now you can create a message from the Sealit dashboard or we can create it from the email. So let's just say that we want to create it from here. We want to create an encrypted message that no one can access, not even seal it. So this message, I'll send it out to myself just for testing purposes. And I'll just say test for video. This is encrypted. There we go. I can actually add a file to this. I'll just add an, an image for this and I'll send it out. The message and the file will be encrypted. Now, as of now, and as of this video, it's a 200 megabyte limit to send out emails, depending on the plan that you are on. So that was sent out. Let's go check it out. Let me go ahead and open up my, my email. Okay, here's my email and I just received it. And if I want to read secure message, I can click on this. So I'll go ahead and click on it. There we go. It's going to authenticate and let's go check out it on my phone. So I just received the message. Let's go ahead, open the app and let's go click on that use my fingerprint and do i want to allow the decrypt for this i'll say yes fingerprint again there we go it's just been decrypted and i allowed it via phone here we go here's the message this is encrypted now i can't view that if i don't allow access and now i can download this file and it's decrypted because it's already obviously decrypted from the access that i gave it to the phone now that's one of the ways that you can compose an email and send it out you can also do it through Gmail if you install the app inside of it. So there's a Sealit Security app, which lets me read the secure email from here, or I can, for example, let me show you the secure email. Again, I have the one day or the one week. I'll go ahead and accept right here, add my fingerprint to it. There we go, and I have access from here also, which makes it a bit more faster. I can also compose the secure email from inside of the app, so it makes it easier. I don't have to go open up, seal it. I can do it from here, which makes it obviously faster. And that's one of the ways that you can open up the emails. Now there's a history of these emails that we can view, for example, where they have they've been open. If I click on that plus button, it'll give me um, the IP address and things like that, which I won't do because I don't want to reveal. There's filters for this. I can actually view the, the emails from here. So these are some test emails, the sent out emails, the inbox emails, and I can also encrypt messages. So messages, sorry, files. So if I want to encrypt the file, I can go ahead and upload it right here. 200 megabytes is the limit as of this video. So I'll just delete this one right here, which is a previous test, and I'll decrypt the I'll encrypt this image. So let's wait for that to upload. There we go. Do you want to allow others to access this file? And I can click yes, and I can add the emails to them. All right. So in this case, I won't add it. I'll just encrypt it, and I'll do download this file. So now I have an encrypted message file sorry so here it is this is the file if i want to share that file via email i can do so but they won't be able to open it unless they decrypt it or i allow access to them now inside of my dashboard i can go ahead and go into encrypt decrypt so if i add this file that i've just downloaded encrypted add it here it'll decrypt it for me and i'll be able to download the original version there we go i'm allowing on my phone click yes fingerprint there we go. And now I can download the file. So now I have the original JPEG file that I can download. Those are some of the features that we can view on the desktop and on mobile app. We also have other features, which I'm going to show you right now. So for example, I can view the emails from here. I have the inbox and sent box from here, and I can go ahead and open up a message that was encrypted. But in this case, it won't be because I'm actually in the app. I can also view the alerts if I have any right here, the activity for this, 
So email decrypted successfully, decrypted requests for um, email from, and so on and so forth. And I have all the data right here that I'm able to view what's happening with my files and my emails. And last but not least, the account, which gives you a temporary code to decrypt messages also. Basically, that is encrypted. One of the main features of this is the zero trust feature where they don't even have access to those files or emails. That was That's what makes it really important. But there you go. If you want to grab the deal that's going on, do check out that link in the description. And this is a wrap.